She wanted to get to know your lifestyle, not you, bro. You thought she wanted to get to know your personality, your heart, your mind? Is that what you thought? You thought she wanted to know your favorite color, how you feel today, if you got some sleep, if you drank some water, if you ate some greens. You thought she wanted to know your likes and dislikes. <laughs> I know you ain't think she really wanted to get to know you. <laughs> Man, she wanted to know your lifestyle. She wanted to use you. You're a number. Even on a dating site, she don't want to get to know you. She want to know what you do. She want to know what you do for a living. She want to know if you can follow her Snapchat, her Instagram to help get more followers. You're just another number to help her get more followers. You're just another number to help stack up so she can get that, that blue dot on her name on Instagram. So she can get some ads and get some what? Let me hear you say it. Get some what? Money. It all goes down to money, man. In most cases, they go down to money. And the girls that's not about that, they already, they get taken quick. Now, the good thing is, when it comes to guys, there's more women out here than men. So it's in guys' favor. But you're, you're slowing your process up thinking that she, this type of girl, want, which is most women, want to get to know you for you. Now, if you have the lifestyle that she, she wants you to have, or she like, she'll act like, she know how to act real well. I mean, better than Denzel. She'll act like she like you. Oh, yes. <laughs> she'll laugh at every joke you got. Sit on your lap. Get on her knees. Shit. She'll put an arch in her back for you and everything. If you got the lifestyle she want, she know how to make you feel like a king. But it's temporarily, only until you marry her, or if you get if she get a baby by you. She like your lifestyle, man. She's not into you. Her goal is to get some resources from you. Then, as she get older, let you go, take that, take the resources, and get with a young guy, hoping that he can blast her, you know, blast the rest of her years away, in the bedroom, with with, with hard monument. You know, that's her goal. It usually don't work out that way. 90-something percent of the time, every now and then somebody slide through the cracks. And then, that, you know, unfortunately, then bad karma catch up and that don't even work out right. But that's in their mind, they don't really get to know you for you. They're not coming into it with the right motive. Their heart not right from the start. It's all about what you do for a living. Even on dating sites, can you follow my Snap? Can you follow my Instagram? I'm not on here much. Take my Instagram. You know, that's what a lot of my clients tell me. They say they girls don't want to get to know them. They just want to want them to follow them. So they, you know, I had to tell them they just trying to build their followers up. They trying to get money. You know, a lot of times the women act like they can't drive on a dating site so they can so you can send them cash out money. You thinking they gonna come to your house? <laughs> they not coming to your house, man. Somehow they're going to take that money, that $20, $30, and they're going to take that, block you, get somebody else. Bam. Get somebody else. Bam. They making $100 a day doing this shit. Scamming dudes. Can you cash out me some money? That's what they say. Can you cash out me some money? So you, got, you guys got to be careful, man. Thinking that these women going to really get to know who you are. It's all about their life. You know? But now they got OnlyFans. They want you to follow their OnlyFans as well. It's not the snap no more. It's the OnlyFans. They have no problem spreading their whole cheeks wide open so you can see that hole. Boop. Do you hear me? They have no problem doing that. They don't have no, these are not the days where they were shy. And it's hard for them to be shy when every woman is doing it. Maybe if they was the only woman doing it or a small group. Now, every woman is a, stri is a stripper. Almost every woman is a stripper in a, in a 
some form of way, whether they showing all their body on Instagram or whatever. <laughs> almost every woman, almost every woman is showing their body. Older women, of course they're younger, but now older women on Instagram trying to get some of them, trying to squeeze some of that money out. Because you're dealing with the world on Instagram. You're dealing with the world. So, when you're dealing with the world, that's what you're dealing with. The world. So, you got to be careful, guys. You got to understand that. Your best bet is to try to get a younger female. You got exceptions, but when women get older, they get stuck in their ways. They get less spontaneous. They done been with a lot of different guys in most cases. Not all, but most. They been ran through a lot of different guys that done, done went up and down on them. Sweating. Doing all kind of nasty stuff. Bacteria. That's the kind of girl you want to wife up. Is that the kind of girl you want to cherish? You want to say, this is my boo-boo. <laughs> now, I believe in forgiveness, and I believe that none of us are perfect, and that we all have done things, but... They need to teach women to find a man while they're young. Because they get older. They get controlling and stuck in their ways and stubborn and passive-aggressive. They play sex games in the bedroom, try to control their men with sex and stuff like that. Then a the man end up cheating and stuff like that. Then you end up divorced and stuff like that. Domestic violence, stuff like that. But if a woman find a man while she's young, and a good man, a godly man, then she can grow on to him. And she can experience some, she can get to know him in a, in a good way, in an exciting way. And, uh, and an older man is more likely to appreciate a woman if she, when she's younger. Because she is, her energy is different. She's more, not that he can control her, it's just the fact that she's more able to adapt to him. She's easier, more able to adjust to him a little better between the ages of 18 and 25. 25 is push it more like 24, but 25 is probably the max. Every now and then, 27. Once they started getting close to 30, whew, and if they had a lot of experiences, sexual experiences, and it does something to their spirit, their soul, and they just don't, they're not the same. They're innocent. All their innocence get drained out. All them demons from all them other guys done got downloaded into them. So, and it's just not the same. A lot of guys not aware of that. And they wonder why they got having problems with women. Not saying that those women don't deserve a man, but they just not the same. They would have to get, they would have to pray or get some therapy or meditate or something. But they not the same because they become controlling and self-centered. They done been through too many situations and, and stuff like that where they scarred, you know. The solution to that is them getting with a good godly man while they're younger. And if they're able to somehow soften up their heart if they know, and admit that they have been scarred and that they are now stuck in their ways. They are now controlling. They are now more materialistic on a, on a different level of materialistic. Not like on some New Jordans level. They on some how much you make a living... Am I going to be paying more mortgage than you? Or what you going to be paying? You know, the money should never be the base of a relationship because money can go up and down. That means your relationship can go up and down. If, you're, if your relationship is based on money, then it's based on something that can... Your relationship is on thin ice. It can melt at any moment. But when your relationship is based on mind, heart, and personality... You're going to laugh through the bad times and you're going to laugh through the good times. Nothing can separate the two. It's called agape love. Many of you guys' love is based on conditions. Like this type of woman that I'm talking about, her love is based on conditions. It's based on your lifestyle. Do you got this? Do you make a certain type of money? Are you, are you going to try to impress me with your money? Okay, now that you got it, are you the type that's going to try to impress me with it? Are you going to allow me to run the show? Are you going to allow me to run your finances? 
So, you guys got to be careful. I'm Alan Williams, The Real You There. If you want a one-on-one -on -one consultation, inbox me. Send me a message or something. Always remember, I love you. But Jesus love you more. Real You Nation, we out. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell to see the next video. And don't forget, she don't want to get to know you. She wants your lifestyle. She want to get to know your lifestyle for her own convenience. Same way basketball wives and all the other reality shows was. They'll play victim in the end because they wasted all those years trying to get that man money. And they finally got his money, but he realized that the woman don't love him, so he started cheating. And she realized she got the money, but now she don't look the same. She done hit the wall. So her only bet is to go with a younger guy and give him all the money, thinking he gonna like her. So it's just a, when you don't do stuff for the right reason, it's a forever evolving cycle that leads to a dead end situation. Alan Williams, the Rillionaire.